Hi, I'm Jimmy from Mouse Hat Games, and this week I've been working on resizable components. So previously in Logic World you could resize circuit boards, like so, and I'd also experimented with resizable labels. These were relatively simple, since each of these component types contain only a single rectangular prism, but this week I've implemented a full proper system for resizing components that allows us to resize even very complex components, for example this panel button here. So panel buttons are an input component, you can click on them to pass a signal through to the other side of the board. Um, previously we had five or six different panel buttons, each a different size, but now we only need the one because it can be any size. The other thing I want to show off in this video is the new displays which use the new resizable component system. Logic World now has panel displays with one, two, three, four, six, and eight input pegs, which um, we can actually see a little better if we go around to the other side. Um, you can resize panel displays just like panel buttons. Programming these guys to dynamically adjust their geometry was really hard, but it was worth it because just look at how smooth that is. Um, over here I've built a wall with all the variants of the panel display just to show off how they have different colors for each different state. And behind this wall, I've got an 8-bit binary counter. It is a hastily built and poorly designed 8-bit binary counter, but an 8-bit binary counter it is nonetheless. I'll just uh, turn it on here. I've got it hooked up to an 8-bit display so we can watch it cycle through each of its 256 possible states and colors. A few people have been asking for 8-bit displays because they need the additional color depth to render complex objects, in particular shaded three-dimensional geometry and fractals like the Mandelbrot set. So this one's for you, Jarvie and Nano. I can't wait to see what you create with these.